Guys, yeah, I spoke to Maricopa County's Environmental Services, and guess what? This heat wave is not good for our groceries, especially the items that need to be refrigerated. Under these extreme temperatures, bacteria begins to rapidly grow. According to the USDA, there is this thing called the danger zone for food for bacteria to grow. It ranges from 40 degrees to 140 degrees, so it really doesn't take much for bacteria to infect our foods, but this heat makes it 10 times worse. I also saw from the USDA that if it's above the 90 degree threshold, your food should not be left out for more than an hour. So if you have plans to go grocery shopping, you need to be extra careful. That's what Environmental Services is preaching during this heat wave. We all know that our cars can heat up so quick. There are studies that show that our cars can heat up to 160 degrees if it's parked in the sun. So one managing supervisor for the department's um, division of looking over the quick services restaurants here in the county. He says there's so many opportunities for our cars uh, to infect our foods because of this heat. And he says bacteria growth is possible for a variety of the grocery items that we shop for. Think of all of it. Don't neglect your meat. Don't neglect your milk. Don't neglect your eggs. Don't neglect those perishables. Consider them all to be uh, to uh, carry microorganisms that can hurt you if you abuse those temperatures. This kind of bacteria growth can lead to foodborne illnesses like salmonella happening. So, you know, this is no joke. We actually heard from Colton throughout this morning that he left some bananas in his car and in like 15 minutes they turn black. So this is the real deal. So they're really saying that all you need to do to, you know, keep your food safe if you're going to the grocery store this week is to plan ahead. Make sure, uh, you know, that you're parked in a shaded area if you can to keep your items cool. Uh, one really good tip that uh, was recommended was keeping a cool cooler with you in your car so that way those refrigerated items can go inside the cooler uh, so that way it can stay at a good temperature if you're trying to head home. But then of course, don't make grocery shopping the first thing to do on your to-do list, especially if you have multiple stops throughout the day today. Yeah, Back that to ice cream is not going to be ice cream by the time you yeah. get home. <laughs> but the cooler is a great idea yeah, or like one of those cooler bags yeah. just to have some of the things like meat especially. All right, Elena, thank you.